everybody welcome to today's video if you're new here I'm Jamie B thanks for stopping by if you're already subscribed welcome back so today we are going to be doing a no makeup makeup look I guess you could say really basically what I want to do for you guys is show you several different options of a nice glowy beautiful like look without having to go through full face, full coverage, um, 100%. The main reason that I actually started doing this was when I became pregnant. You, when you're pregnant, you're just tired. Like, I know some people are really energetic and they really like got it all together. I'm not one of them. So <laughs> um, if you are currently pregnant then, and you're similar to like my situation, then you really understand the struggle where you get up in the morning and you want to look glowy and you want people to tell you you're glowing but really you look in the mirror and you're like oh my god I look like I didn't get any sleep because I didn't so um I just started to like kind of mess with my makeup because I'm usually more full coverage but I started messing with it and just quicker easier ways to do that so I brought lots of goodies here I'm only going to put like one of each kind on my face I won't try them all but I'm going to show you different options so you know that you have all of these options instead of oh this is what I use da 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 you have different options and you can kind of play with it and make it more comfortable and I guess like to how you want to wear it. So with all that being said guys, if you are not already subscribed, please hit that subscribe button at the bottom of this video and the bell next to it so you're instantly notified when I upload and without further ado, let's get into the video. <laughs> so I also want to say that I'm going to be putting in with this the ColourPop um, blush and light sticks. I got these a while ago. They're not new. They came out, I want to say a month or two ago. And um, I got all of them and I never really got to review them for you guys. But my biggest and favorite thing, I think I got three of the five they had available. My biggest and favorite thing when I'm doing like no makeup makeup looks now is cream products lots and lots of cream products so it was super exciting that they came out with that and i got like three different ones so i'm going to kind of intertwine them and then i'll swatch them and let you know how i feel about them i will tell you i don't like how they f like sit over foundation i really am not a big stick or cream person when it comes to blush or highlighter over foundation because usually it can tend to pull that foundation off and leave you looking like splotchy and patchy and just like not really good at all <laughs> All right, so first things first, when I do anything in the morning, I put on a moisturizer, which I have already done. My favorite moisturizer is the Belief um, True. I think it's like Moisture Bomb. I'm pretty sure is what it's called. Literally, I swear by it. If you don't have it, you have to go to Sephora and pick it up. It is fantastic. I have the driest skin, I'm telling you, on the face of this earth, and that stuff is bomb. So we're gonna start with the first steps that I do after my moisturizer so usually you can do several different options for a base a glowy base my number one favorite go-to is the um drunk elephant luxury facial oil it is the virgin marula luxury facial oil this is a very expensive um option I think it was like 72 dollars so if you don't already have this I'm gonna show you so many different options that you can use instead of or um, if you do have it, then go ahead and use it because it makes my face so glowy and so pretty and I don't feel oily and gross. So the other options I want to show you that I use for the base are the Pixi Glow Tonic Serum. I actually got this one for free from them. And then I have the, I always say this wrong so don't kill me, Ferrisali Rose Gold Elixir, which is super dirty because it's in my foundation drawer. And that one's kind of pricey too. Now, some other not normal items that you can use to give you that skin like glowy, pretty look if you don't want to use oil because I know some people have extremely oily skin or they break out easily if they use too much facial oil. So we have the MAC Prep and Prime, which it's in its name. It's not just primer. You can prep your skin with it. It gives it like a dewier look. A couple other ones that I, this one is a newer one. This is grip and primer and then you can also use it. They say if you just want to use on your, um, as a moisturizer basically. So this is the Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Primer. It's kind of tacky so I don't go for it a lot but when I do put it on it does really make my face feel nice. So I've never worn it by itself but I know that you can. So if you have that that's a quick option for you and it does give me like a hydrating effect. Not as glowy, but definitely a hydrating look. 
So the Becca First Light Priming Filter Instant Complexion Refresh. I like to put this on sometimes almost as if it's lotion and it kind of just gives me like that supple, glowy, soft skin look that I need in this dry skin. And then the last one is the Base Tape Hydrating Primer. I know these are primers. Okay, I know that. Don't yell at me in the comments. I'm just giving you different options that I have used and I actually had some success with. So I'm going to go ahead in with my Marula oil and I just do a couple drops. Nothing crazy. Don't Instagram your face. Just put a couple drops on. So see how the oil, it just gives it like a nice hydrating look. It didn't over oil my face, which is what I completely am going for. All right, so... And I say this like is for pregnant women, but anybody can use it really. I just know that like ever since I got pregnant, I'm not sleeping. I'm tossing. I'm trying all night long. So when I have to wake up at five o'clock in the morning, I'm just like, Ugh, no, I can't do anything. And then I go out with nothing on my face because I just can't even with the day. But I started kind of like messing with my makeup and like, what can I do? And then it's so freaking hot. So you don't want to wear six layers of foundation because it feels like it's melting off your freaking face, right? We've all been there. Usually when I am doing something like this look, I will either go in with an eye pencil, which is, this is the ABH Brow Wiz, or I will go in with a gel because I don't wanna go full on bold brows when I don't have any other makeup on. So whenever I do full coverage, of course I do 100% brows. Fill them in, draw them on, all of that good stuff. I literally just put on this color and then I put some clear on and I'm out the door with that because look how quick that was. It takes me forever to do my brows, especially when I'm half awake, half asleep. So then you can go through with a clear one or you can just let that one dry. I know ABH has one. Um, there are a lot of drugstore companies that sell these brow um, gels now. So you can totally, if you have those or you don't, you really don't wanna spend like all this money on these, then go and get those because I'm telling you, they work just as good when you're just trying to do this quick zoom zoom out the door look so the next step is for me usually if i'm going to wear a bronzer i'll put a little bit of bronzer on um, you can use a powder bronzer that has no shimmer or shimmer whichever you prefer i also have the huda 3d highlighter palettes um, which come with like cream bronzers you can use that cream contour stick whichever you prefer um, and makes you feel more comfortable so right here if you don't want to use like too much shiny stuff, this might not be something you want to go to. You may just want to do a powder. And I'm going to show you the color. This is an icon from Morphe. It's one of my favorite bronzers lately. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put some of this bronzer on. And like I said, I just do very little since it's, you know, you don't want to be too crazy bronze. But a lot of people are really into just having like that sun-kissed look. They don't want to look like super pale. So there has to be something. But you can use cream. You can use powder. I prefer a powder um, bronzer and contour, so I don't really carry too much cream products in that um, department. And like down here, nothing crazy. See, I'm gonna fix my crazy hair. All right, and now we are going to move on to the blush. Now the highlighters from Huda, they also the palettes also come with blushes, but they're really expensive. And honestly, I don't ever reach for them. So when I found out that ColourPop had these, I was really super excited. So I got the three different sets. They come with two blushes and a highlighting stick. I'm gonna get the prices so you guys know how much they are, but I know that they're not new. So um, they should be available on ColourPop's website. All right, so it looks like they are $22 a set. And again, you get in the set three of them here. It's two blushes and a light stick, which is a highlight basically. So let's go in here. I'm not gonna try all of them on, but I will swatch all of them for you. I'm gonna pick which one will look better on my skin and then go from there. Um, I just looked on the site. They also sell them separately for $8 a piece or two of them for $15. So you have a lot of different options. It does look like most of them are still available on the website. Um, I do really, really, I've become like, very interested in uh, cream products where before I wasn't really a big fan. They're quick, they're easy. When you don't wanna put foundation and all that on, these things are a wonder. You can put them on your lips 
for lipstick, like just a little limp tint. You can put them on your eyes for a little color for eyeshadow. The light sticks can go on the inner corner for a pop of color, and then obviously highlighter for your face. So there's a lot of different options for these, and that's why when I got them, I was like, I probably shouldn't have gotten these. I'm not gonna use them. But really, like really, really, I freaking love them. So let's go with the, let's open the sets first. So this is the Call Me Big Poppy. And they are, I'm assuming, after flowers because this is what it looks like, the package. That's beautiful. So you have Aloha, Under Pressure, and then this one is Bullseye, which is a champagne gold color, which is so beautiful. And I'm loving this coral. I might do these two on my face. This one is Aloha. It's kind of hard to explain. It's like it wants to be like a peachy brownish color, but I really like it. And they feel really, really nice. So we're gonna move on to the next set. So the next one is Moonlight and Magnolias. I don't know if you can see that packaging or not. I'm really trying to get this so it doesn't blind you guys. The packaging I'm not so much worried about, but like the swatches I definitely want you guys to be able to see. So we have Hooked. Star Bright and then 25.8. So again, they're just they're very similar in color. So probably this one's a little bit darker, but really, like in person, they look so similar. And they're very pink. But this highlight, like that's gonna look really nice. And then the last one is Peony for your thoughts. So we have Flamenco, Earth, and then Mini Me. So they are just, they're very pretty. They're all really pink based. I feel like the other two were a little bit darker and I thought they were gonna be too dark for my skin tone, but I feel like those are the ones that were not pink based. All right, so I am gonna go in with 25.8. Because I don't have any foundation on, what I'm gonna do is just dab it along here where my blush would be. If you have foundation on, I do not recommend you do that. I recommend that you put it on your finger to warm it a little and dab it so it will not pull on your foundation as much and the reason that I say cream sticks or cream products are gonna be really great for these new makeup makeup looks is because when you put cream on it looks hydrating it's not sticking to anything and that oil is going to really mix with it and give it just like a smooth creamy look it's just gonna look so good so I do love all of these I'm really excited I got them I'm glad that I got to show them to you guys that I've been wanting to show them to you guys and let you know again I did try it over foundation with I think it was the um poppy one the collection and when I put it on there it, it pulled it was almost like pulling up my foundation you could see it on the stick so I just I, I'm not a fan of putting cream products over my foundation so I just I would pass on that in general um but if you do try not to use so much powder first so it doesn't mix and get cakey and gross um, now the highlighters we have the stick highlighters that I showed you but also I wanted to give you other options for highlighters so any kind of like liquid highlighter that you have is going to look really really nice because again it's a liquid cream hydrating product I am going to use the sticks because I'm super excited to try the one highlighter but I also have used the naked skin highlighting fluid I have several of these but this one is in Fireball. My favorite is Sin. I love that one. And then I also have the Morphe Strobe. These are a little bit more glitter than they are highlighter. So just be mindful that you're, you don't want to put too much glitter if you don't have a lot of stuff on your face because then that's what's going to stand out and everything else is going to be like, oh God, I do put so much glitter on your face. And then the Sephora Illuminating Drops. Radiant Luminizing Drops. These are actually pretty decent in price and I absolutely love these. I'm telling you, I put this on when I have nothing on, not face oil, not nothing, just to give me some color, some shine, some anything in my life. Um, I have several stick foundation um, highlighters, but I just wanted to grab a few just to kind of give you guys an idea of what you could use. So we're gonna go back in because I want to put bullseye on all of this. So again, I'm just gonna go ahead and place it here but I do recommend again if you have foundation or anything else 
that you use your finger to warm it up. It might give you a better effect. Whew. So just that tip of the nose and just a light line. You don't want to go too crazy because when you don't have foundation and stuff, a good shine is okay, but you don't want to be like super glowy. All right, so usually when I do this um, in the mornings, I won't put on eyeshadow. If I do, it's going to be one of these options. It will either be a crayon eyeshadow. This one is the Nude Stick Magnetic Luminous Eye Color. I have tons of them. This is just one that I grabbed. So you could put on, and they, again, another thing that they have at drugstores, Ulta, you could get it pretty decently priced. And it's just like a bronzy cream color, which gives you just, just enough shimmer and niceness to look like you did something, but you don't have to blend and you don't have to put your crease color in and you don't have to detail it and make sure it has dimension. And you know what I mean? We're just trying to be quick here. And then you have the cream eyeshadows. This one is the Zoella and ColourPop one. Supernova shadow is what they call it. But basically it's a cream eyeshadow and it's a liquid and it'll dry. You can do that, but again, that's more shimmer. Um, I also use that this one sometimes. This is the Top Yacht Chrome Paint from Tarte. They came out with these a while ago and people were like obsessed with them. And like I'll just dab it in here and literally I'll put like a blush or just like a taupe over my eye. Even sometimes bronzer. I'll take my bronzer, sweep it over my eye, which is probably what I'm going to do now. Just a like light fluffy blending brush. And this one is M513 dip it in my bronzer and literally just go over like this. I think I'm gonna do the paint pot. So what I do is I literally put that highlighter or that bronzer on just to give it a nice base and I will just stick this in here. Now, if I do a shimmer on the eyelid, I will not put one on the inner corner. So if you just do like a bronzer on your lid, then you can absolutely add that shimmer to your inner corner. But if you already have shimmer on the lid, you really don't have to put it on the inner corner because you have that shine. Again, personal preference. If you want to add a little bit of extra pop to it, go for it, girl. Do your thing. So I'm going to just dab that. I literally just dab it with my finger and then that's that. So we're going to move to the second to last step, which is eyelashes. Um, you're more than welcome to put on eyelashes in the morning, but if you're like me, and you're tired and you run out that door and you're like, I need something that's going to make me look alive. Get you a good mascara. They have tons of them. Um, Better Than Sex is a good one. Collab from Sally's Beauty. It's pretty cheap. That's a good one. Um, I think it's L'Oreal has this voluminous one. Oh my gosh. It's literally like $8 from the drugstore and it's bomb. I don't have any more right now. This is the Milk Makeup Kush Mascara and I freaking am obsessed with it. When I'm not on camera, obviously, and I'm not talking to you guys, this literally takes me 10, maybe 15 minutes, depending on if I do anything extra, and I'm out the freaking door. The last step, which is my favorite step, which is lips. If you do not wear any of this, if you're like, I just can't do it, put on lips. Lipstick will change your day. It makes you feel better. It makes you feel like a boss. You can do, you can do your day with your lipstick. So I got several different lip options. You can do your traditional liquid lipstick. And this is the Laura Lee Los Angeles Kiss Miss, one of my favorite colors. A comfort matte. I know a lot of different companies, Dose of Colors makes them, where they're very matte, but they're very comfortable and look very nice on the lips. And this pop of color will make everything like it doesn't exist because it's going to draw that attention to where to your lips not to your eyes that might have dark circles not to a blemish that you might have but to your lips and to your smile and some other favorites i have so are going to be a tinted lip gloss this is the so juicy plumping gloss in the shade type of way from ColourPop. they're pretty cheap i think they're like seven bucks I have a ton of them and literally I have them in my purse. It's a colored gloss, so it gives it a little bit of a tint, but it also keeps your lips moisturized, looking juicy and plump and pretty and just ready to go. This is not my go-to just because it's kind of thick, so I get it all over my coffee and it's just not, it doesn't turn out for me, but if you're really into glosses or you have glosses like that, that's gonna be what you go to. 
So the next one is also a gloss, a uh, clear shimmer gloss. I know this looks, this is from Kylie. I know it looks like it has color and believe me it does, but it doesn't show up on your lips. It just doesn't. I don't care what anyone says. The, it, the glitter will, but the color will not. So if you want a little bit of a shine, a nice gloss that isn't too thick, this is gonna be one. And then the last two are lipsticks. So this one is a little bit pricey. This is the YSL, and I think this is just called the Rouge. Yep, not gonna even try. It is a very lightweight cream lipstick. When I say it, it goes on. This is actually gonna be the one that I put on. So I'll show you here. Like it literally shines like it's a gloss. It's so nice and comfortable and it just gives you like a nice little pouty look, nice lips, color to go with it. Again, if you don't want that color, just put a clear gloss on and girl, I'm telling you with everything else, you're going to look like you tried. And that's what we need here to look like we put effort in. And then the last one is just, I grabbed this one. It's a regular cream lipstick and this is the KKW Beauty. It is literally just a nude cream. You can also put that one on. I will put that one on to show you kind of another look with it. So give me one second. So again, these are cream lipsticks too, but it doesn't, it can be MAC, it can be Maybelline, it can be whatever. Cream, like moisturizing, not matte lipsticks are gonna be your friend on days like this. Days where you just want to feel like you look together, but you're not together, believe me, I know, then this is something that you're gonna have to invest in is like a very nice cream lipstick. Throw it in your purse. When you get to work, put it on. When you're in your car, put it on. Like you just feel better when you think that you look 10 times better than you did when you wake up. So that is it. It literally does not take me this long to do it, but I'm going through kind of showing you guys bits and pieces and different options. I can literally look like I just woke up to, I actually took a lot of time to get ready and arrive on work or wherever you need to be, school, whatever it is on time and put together, even though you're not. I know that we have a lot going on in our lives and sometimes it's not realistic to be like, okay, I'm gonna sit down for an hour and a half and put on all this makeup. And then you feel like crap if you can't and you don't think that you look as good or you don't feel as good. And I want you guys to always feel really great about yourselves. All right, guys, as usual, please give this video a big thumbs up and I will see you on the next one. Bye.